All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can natively record game highlights or game clips through Discord while you're streaming your game to all of your friends. So when you're going to want to stream a game to your friends, you've got your game open over here. In this case, I'm showcasing Yakuza Like a Dragon, and you jump into a voice channel in whatever server, I'm here in my test server, a little button appears above your voice connection information that offers you the ability to stream your game if it can detect it. You might have to manually add your game to your registered games list, but if it does detect it properly, you'll be able to click on this button and stream the game with all of its audio to your friends in that channel. And at the bottom, there is a new feature called Enable Clipping, which allows you to clip 30 seconds or more of your gameplay footage of the game that you're playing that you can then upload and share with your friends later or edit it and download it to your computer. All of these things you have the option to do. So all I have to do is make sure it's toggled as on and then hit go live. And then it's playing up here to all of my friends who want to watch. And then I can run around inside the game and be like, oh man, I'm gonna run over here and uh, get some money from my hobo buddies. So while I'm playing a game and running around, I can hit Alt-C at any time in order to record a little clip. And then a little pop-up will appear down here that says you have one new clip. And I can either turn these reminders off or I can view my clips. And here I've got a bunch of different test clips that I've recorded that I wanted to be able to showcase and show. Now, one of the things that you can do in here is you can edit them, but normally the way that you access this menu is by going to the little plus sign down here in the chat like uh, window at the bottom where you type your message and you click on that and there's actually a button here to share your clips. So from here, I can pick the one that I want to record. In this case, I can grab this other one that I recorded the other night, and I have the option to share this clip. I can edit this clip, or I can delete this clip, or I can just click on it and bring open a bigger menu. Inside of this menu, I can give it a title. So I can call this the uh, Yakuza Chapter 2. And then I have the options to enable the audio from the game, yes or no, my audio. So if I want my voice and what I was saying to my friends in the channel to be recorded, I can leave that on and people can hear it or I can turn that off. And then I can also click and drag these blue arrows over here from the sides in order to trim the video. So I only capture a specific point in the video that I can then preview by just clicking the play button. Or I can extend that so I can see more of this clip that was going on when I recorded it. And then when I'm happy with it, I can hit the check mark to save my changes. I can download that to my computer or export it to wherever I want it to be. Or I can then share that clip with my friends and it'll ask me where I want to put that. So I think that's really handy. So I'll just hit save changes for right now. So that's one of the things you can do. That's actually kind of handy. Uh, if I want to, I can go down and delete some of the ones that I know I don't really want or need when I was testing this feature out. And then of course, if you want to, there's some stuff up here that allows you to search for clips. If you find yourself recording a lot of them and naming them, it might be helpful to search for them by name, or you can search by most recent or oldest. And then there are some limited controls and settings inside your user settings under clips. It'll allow you to control how long it records for clip length. You can go up to two minutes. You can change the key binding. You can change where the clips are located and recorded to. And then you can enable or disable if you want your voice to be recorded in the clips or you don't. Now it's worth mentioning that when you're inside this clips menu and you're editing this participant audio is everybody who's currently in the chat with you. 
everybody who's in the channel with you, talking to you while you're playing a game, their voice audio will be recorded as if it's all your microphone audio. You, so just keep that in mind. Your stream audio is just the audio from your game. You can decide whether or not you want that information to be recorded or not. And uh, just out of curiosity, okay, so you can add a clip to your soundboard and that'll allow you to trim that down into a five second clip to keep it for like a weird sound. That's kind of handy, I like that. Or it looks like you can download the entire clip as an MP4 file and then you can name it whatever you want. It currently has a random serial number for whatever I, I recorded. It gave me this random jarble of numbers as the name of the file, but I can call it whatever I want and it automatically saves it as an MP4 file. Or if I click to share the clip, It'll then put it in this window like I'm going to upload it and then I can just hit enter and it'll go through the process of uploading that like eight megabyte clip to the chat so I can share that weird gameplay moment with all of my friends and then they can play it like any other MP4 video that you have uploaded to Discord. So I, th I hope you found this helpful. This has been how to use the new clip recording system for game streaming. On Discord, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.